and ran it down. So. So hello YouTube, this is I. So welcome back to the mixing the Amber Sky for the Pure Mix competition song. So if you have been downloaded the tracks, it, please do so. They are at the Pure Mix website. Uh. And I'm still drunk, so don't mind me. Beer is good and stuff. Thumbs up for Psycho Stick for that song. Alright, so let's start tackling the drums. So let's check out if we can make them punch out more. Alright, so this is just a fart. So I think we can use this fart with envelope shaper. So let's check it out. All right, and then we just clip it just a bit. I really like this new JST clip for that action. And there we have it, a punch. And then let's just trim the output down just a bit. And here we have a bit of like room sound that's all right but I think it's a bit too much so let's take it out just a bit with an EQ so let's try something that I haven't tried in a while so let's try the many EQ Let's not use that. Let's try something that I'm familiar with. So let's go with the Q10. Sorry guys. All right, that's the thing that we want to get rid of. And now let's compress it just a bit. I really like the the box for this because it has a gate, so we get that room sound out just a bit. All right, and then let's combine it with the other kick. And for this, let's add a bit of R bass so we get that low end kicking uh, at the subs. Then let's move on to the snares. Where do we have this snare? We have it here. This also sounds like it could use some envelope shaper. If you don't like envelope shaper, you can also use Transex or SPL Transit Design, your preference.
let's try to compress it just a bit more. So I'll try the R box here. All right, this is more like an effect snare. So let's keep it down. And for this, I just want vo more volume. So I'll just boost it here for the hi-hats and then just move it with the faders. Link those. I really feel like making a group for these. Let's do that. So this is the beat. Let's do it like this. So now it's here. Oh, it should be here. Where did I put it? There's the group. Beats. Let's move it there. Alright, and those go there. Beat. And beat goes to drums. Alright. So, let's check it out. Yeah, a bit more pumped there. So then let's add the LA to it there after that. I think the drums are pretty, ro pretty rocking right now, so let's add just a chest to clip here. So we'll have just a bit more, a, a bit more character to the sound. So let's trim out the output just. <laughs> Let's move on to the bases. So let's check it out. And because we have quite a low amount of bass tracks, so let's just use the R bass here. that it brings up the lows quite nicely. So now I need to EQ. Alright, so let's check it out. Then we have the sub fatty here. Which isn't more of a fatty, it's more of a, like a leak. So let's turn it up just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not supposed to be, at least in my opinion, it's not supposed to be super large, so let's just keep it like that. And again here, let's use the R bass. Really digging that. So then for the... Actually, let's make a new group for the... New mono group for the basses. Because I, I think that they need their own group, so... Let's do that. So that's the bass. And... Now let's put the same NV2 there that we had on the stereo group. So 5.3 and 3 and a half. And then for the keyboards, what I don't want them to do is to take over the low end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen if there is actually something that's going to the, say, sub. So let's just take a Q1 stereo, low pass, 100 hertz, and press play. Yes, there is. So let's just high pass it there. Check it out. Let's check out where we have the most keyboard. So I guess that would be the last chorus. So here. The piano needs a bit more attention, so let's give it that. Guitars just need to come up, nothing else. I think they sound pretty good. So let's make the same thing. So high pass filter at about 100, 150 hertz. And just a volume boost.
add. So I think we now have a pretty good static dry mix. So let's add some effect tracks. So I think I'll start with the reverb, then delay. So that will be fine for now. Rebel. And let's start with uh, Roomwax SE. I really like this one. So mix to 100, pre delay. Something like that. Let's try with that for starters. And let's send from the vocal bus to reverb. Really subtle, and that's the way it should be. And for the delay, I go for my personal favorite, the H delay. And let's start with no analog. And for this sort of material, I would maybe go with the quarter note or the half note or the. Let's start with the quarter note. Might be a bit too long. And the draws would be half note, so let's try it out for now. So, sense. Go to delay. It's a bit too fast, so let's try to have more delay. For the reason breaks slowly through our dreams, though we are ooh, hiding from the daylight. You. Yeah, and we can also do like serial delays, so let's just put. And so like 50% for the half note delays and let's put the dotted delay in front so like that sun breaks slowly through our dreams though we are So now it's more of an ambient thingy, so we can just turn it down in the mix. So let's test it out from the beginning. Drums do get their own room reverb, so that will be a bit shorter one. So, so. reverb, R verb. I'm going to use this nice room preset that I stole from uh, Chris Kramet, so screenshot time. All right. And let's try it out. So let's send here to drum reverb. Actually, I didn't steal it from Chris Crumit. I just tried to match his precast settings with Arbor Bandit. That was pretty close. 
All right, so let's continue. We are So that is our effect bus. All right. We are so we can do that. So now we have a pretty good wet static mix. So let's check out where we need to do some automation if we need to do any. Like because I think that at least these guitars maybe could come up just a tad <clears throat> so annoying that you can't link them in this view have to go here where are they so pipe guitar left and right all right Because this track is so, uh, because this track track is so very well layered, there is very little need to do any like real automation, other than maybe, you know, volume automation, maybe pan automation for the vibe guitar. So let's do that. So standard pan or left, right, all right. So let's start you from hard right. right. So let's go hard left here, hard right here, hard left here, and about the center here. And let's do the same thing here. So 
Let's start from the left. Let's go to the right. And to the left. And notice I'm doing very broad strokes, so they are not like in any way tempo matched. So I'm only doing this because there is no double of the same guitar. So that there is at least some sort of movement going on. So let's check it out. If it's too wide, it will just narrow it down. seems to be slow enough so that's good so that's one automation so let's check out something else do we need to automate the things in the intro <laughs> Maybe do like a DJ cutoff filter in the intro. So let's cut out all the highs and lows. Maybe even cut on some mids. <laughs> Check it out. was actually this one track that maybe could use some automation, where was it? Can I find it? Nope, can't find it, so, so let's listen it from the beginning to the end.
on the daylight. Yeah, I noticed that the second vocal here sounds kind of weird. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something to it that it sounds better. So let's try instead of the phaser, let's try to use the doubler, which has pretty good preset. What is it? Basic doubler. Ooh. Nope, not that one. Where is it? Pens out of doubler. Let's try that. Ooh. Hiding from the daylight. Okay, let's try that. And then maybe a bit of delay there. Ooh. But without the analog noise and the low fi on. Ooh. Ooh. Better. Yes, and I noticed that I didn't do anything to the kick too. Let's check it out. Well, it sounds good, so let's keep it like that. That is where we need uh, an automation here that <laughs> at the end that we don't want. So let's just fade it out. That's it. Yeah, that's easy. Or, alternative way, if you want to keep the delay there, so we'll just take the volume automation off. The breath is there. Mute. That's another alternative. Yeah, whichever you prefer. I actually like this way better. Okay, what was that noise at the end? Okay, I don't really like that, so let's add a volume automation so that it goes away. Bam, done. These don't actually really well cut at all, so let's just try to high pass them. Okay, if 
575 and then just add more volume and I think we because it's more of an acoustic kind of sound we'll just use compressor instead so we'll have a bit more control over it needs more reverb in my opinion. That's very nicely true. Now that the chorus guitars are louder, I think they could go down like a DBR2, so let's try it. <laughs> group for the piano so Bruno. scroll faster you fast <laughs> almost cursed fuck That would have been a mistake. Gibbs. All right. Let's try this out. 
what do we want? We want more clarity or more presence actually for this. So let's first grab the EQ and if that doesn't cut it, then let's grab the... Okay, that explains it. There's nothing above 2K. So let's just boost it like this. Piano is a bit of a problematic one, so it starts to distort on that part a lot. As we can hear. So it seems that it was already distorted before I received the track, so let me try with the... No, it wasn't. Okay, so it's just too loud, so let me turn down the... Output volume... Even more. Okay, that's that's our target volume, so minus six. So let's compress it and then turn down the volume minus six. What can we use? What can, let's try our box. Minus six. I really like what this FX does, but I don't like the distortion that I hear with the R box. And I get it. Okay, so it's the FX that does that. So. I get it here, okay? So. Also, what we could try is the what is it called sound restoration X crackle. Reduction to max, threshold to max. It removes that. <laughs> that shoot. Without it. Yep. Just what we want. Just what we want. I can hear that our master bus is actually distorted now. So let's check out a level. Okay, it's no wonder. So let's turn down the master by 12 dB. Okay, we are at, so we can turn it down by minus six.
originally had the effect tracks turned off so now i think they might be a bit too loud so let's check it out from the beginning so let's save and play okay. I'll just automate the volume of the piano down there because it sounded really good in the beginning. Simple sound is off, so let's turn that one also down. So Oh, it's on the effect FX tracks. I would say that it's this graph crass effect. So let's do this. Yes, perfect. 
perfect. And then we just need a really, 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 really short fade in. Because we don't want anything to sound like in the beginning. So that's... Uh, Good, there is nothing actually in the beginning, so we can just start here instead. Part all right, and now that we have everything sorted out master output level yeah all right and then we'll add the loudness curve that i use so it's this hard 1 db boost at 1k because i know when i'm missing mixing on my headphones i need to usually boost the high end just a bit to compensate so let's check it out. Yep, just perfect. Yep, just perfect, like I said. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, make good music, and try to behave. Don't drink alcohol until you are 21 if you live in the US, and 18 if you live very well. The mix, as you see, there's delay turned down, and and for example, what else did I change? On, on one of the bases, that on this base, I added a distortion there because I thought it sounded kind of weird it sounded like it was out of phase with the kick drum so now it sounded more in tune with the song so this was my final mix and you can go check it out at the pure mix website thank you for watching and make good music <laughs>